Hey everyone, that guy here, and welcome back to some more of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke series. Last episode, I genuinely can't remember where we left off. So, let's just get that team recap and maybe it'll come back to me while I'm doing that. Alright, who we got? We have Flare. Okay. Oh, by the way, yeah, yeah, there we go. Flare. We're actually going to evolve Flare at around level 32? Um, level 32? 34? Something like that. I decided we're not going all the way into the 40s with him. Because he actually learns all of the moves I want him to have by level 34. Yeah, level 34. By level 34, he'll have all the moves I want him to learn, and then we'll evolve him. So, not too far from evolving him, if he makes it that far. Then we have Burb. Burb is our fossil, so... I'm thinking last episode, we went, we got our fossil Pokémon, we came back. Ah, yeah, and then we did a bunch of battling on the route where the bridge is. Okay, I got it, that's what we did last episode. Then we have Lilix, Sparky, Frog, and Sandy. They're just chilling right now, right? They ain't really done much. Neither has Burb. Burb is just new to the team. This, this team just... It's entirely relying... Oh god. It, this team entirely relies on Flare right now. That's kind of unfortunate. Alright, well... Let's use our bike. You know, I'll remember to use it for once. And I think we have to battle N. Before we're allowed to go in the gym. Why is he taking me... He's like, oh, you're looking for Team Plasma? Here, come with me. Like, what? And why would I just follow him? And then he's just like, let's, let's ride the Ferris wheel together. He's such a weird person. And then he just comes out and admits, oh, by the way, I'm like the leader of the group. Ignoring Getsis, you know? But then again, if you think about it, Getsis is just manipulating N. And using N as like a figurehead for the group, I guess. That's how I'd put it. And then Team Plasma appear, okay. Alright, let's get this battle done. N is a very mysterious character, that's why I like him. Alright, let's go, N. Let's get this going. How strong are you? Level 22. I feel kinda confident with my... Um, flare. Okay, good. You can prevent me from using items, that's fine. I'll just switch out if I need to. Your Pokémon look happy. Uh, you wouldn't say that about the two that have died so far. Rip those two Pokémon. Darumaka. They should be fine. Oh yeah, we're getting rid of Rock Smash when we learn our next move. Just thought I'd put that out there. I plan on keeping Yawn for now. I don't know if I will get rid of Yawn at all or not. Now I wish I could use items. Do the effects of Embargo wear off? Or are they, like, permanent for the battle? Oh, I can use items again now, cool. I don't think going up a scra against a Scraggy is a great idea, but we're gonna try it. This does 50, so that should be 
if my math is correct, full health. Don't mind me, I'm just jamming out to end's theme right now. How much does a brick break do? Not a lot. Alright. I'm sorry, Scraggy. You're my favourite Pokemon, but I have to do this. We should live another one if we don't have speed, which we do. I never know if I do if I definitely outspeed or if there's a speed tie going on. I should be careful of those. Oh fuck. Now I kinda wish I was at full health. Alright, how much damage is your Siglyph gonna do? Ah, I don't like this. Aw, oh, you fucking piece of shit. It only does 30 damage, though. But the problem is, if I hit myself in confusion, I'll probably die. I have no switch-ins for a Siglyph. I don't think I do anyway. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Fuck it, go for the yawn. Go for the yawn. Come on, Flare. Aw, oh, now we just have to live. Now we just have to live a Psy Beam or a Whirlwind, sure. Why would you... Why would you confuse me but then force me to switch out? Huh. I mean, I'm just gonna switch back because I don't trust Sparky to live. I don't trust any of my team to live a shot from a Siglyph right now, honestly. They're so just specially offensive. Oh lord. It's fine, we've got it right where we need it. It's asleep, we can heal. I was gonna go back and use a soda pop, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We can heal. That thing stays asleep, and now we get at least two attacks. Hopefully. Can I? I, I can bite a Siglyph, right? That's super effective. No? Yes? No? Yes? I'm just gonna bite it. It woke up instantly. Oh my lord. Throwing it to sleep did not help. Just bite it again and hope it doesn't crit me. Okay, we're good. In fact, it got a low roll because it did less damage. Alright, we're good. We are good. Alright, yeah, go, go, keep going, game. You're quite strong. Yes, I am, N. Talk your shit, my boy. Talk your shit. Let's... Let's go back and heal. I don't get why that has to be two separate loading zones. Why can't it have just been one area? Is it too big to all be connected as one area? Probably. It's probably too big to be all connected as one area. Oh well. 
Alright, well I guess we're gonna start going in the gym now. So yes, today's episode is gonna be a gym episode. Clyde, give me my water. Thank you, Clyde. Clyde is the man. Best boy, Clyde. Let me in. I don't even remember where this takes me. Just back in a circle. Come to me. Alright, and then we get off. And we have to do stuff. Alright, let's go battle this trainer. And... Hopefully everything will go good. Hopefully. I had to, um... I had to take a, be a brief break because my sinuses have been acting up a little bit lately. And I had a bit of a sore throat just now, but I mean, most videos I record I have to take a quick break because my throat normally gets a bit dry or just doesn't feel good. It's because I'm not really used to talking a lot. So, when I talk for extended periods of time, it, it gets a bit difficult. But you know, I'll get there, I'll get used to it eventually. We'll be fine. So, yeah. I wasn't expecting the Amolga to live two hits, honestly. If I could evolve Flare before this gem leader, I would feel a lot more comfortable, but I don't think I'm going to reach level 34 before I verse them. However, I will be learning acrobatics. There we go. Now, acrobatics is a move that... I think it works better when you don't have a held item. Ooh, they're actually using an electric move. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll have a quick heal. Uh, drop us with that fresh water. The quicker we get to level 34, the better. And then I'll feel a lot safer using Flare in battles. We just gotta hopefully live that long. Not that I can use Flare for the next gym after this one, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. During the time we need for the next gym, we'll probably just be grinding a bit. Well, not grinding, but you know, we'll be, we'll be leveling up other team members that aren't Flare. Now, I've got to be careful, because I think some of these, um... I think some of these... cars on the tracks, when they open up, I think one of them, or maybe two of them, have a trainer inside it, so... I'm going to have to make sure I'm definitely healed up for stuff like that. Can't just walk over to the cart without healing. Alright, let's go. I don't know if we're gonna do the gym leader straight away when we get through this, um, gym. Or if we're gonna go back out and battle a couple of the trainers outside first, I haven't decided. We will figure something out though. A level 25 Blitzel. Oh, that was easy, damn. Blitzels are so weak. Come on, rich boy, give me your money. Eight grand. 
Eight grand to one shot your Blitzel, that's what I'm talking about. There we go, this one has a trainer waiting inside it. This man thinks he's gonna make my head spin with a Pokemon battle, he's got another thing coming. That ain't gonna happen. Rich boy Roland, huh? I'm about to one-shot your Blitzel. If I can one-shot a level 25 Blitzel, I can one-shot a level 24 Blitzel. I hope. Really? Alright then. Maybe this one's just a bit more defensive than the last. Smack him with that acrobatics. You really gonna paralyze me right now, huh? Huh. I might actually have to leave the gym now. Yeah, I can't really use acrobatics in this gym because it's electric type Pokemon. But we have the move, so that's all that matters right now. Come on, one shot it. Maybe I just got a low roll. Or maybe I got a high roll against the last one. Well, I one-shot it, so there was definitely some difference, whether it was a defense difference or just the amount of damage I got was different, I don't know. The last one gave me eight grand and you only get- Hey, frogs evolving, very nice. Duh, 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 duh. I did that way before it even started. Alright, what are we getting? I forgot what it's called. Palpatoad? Palpatoad or something. Yeah, and then the next one is Seismatoad or whatever. In fact, I don't even know how it evolves into the next one. Like, is it just on level up? I hope so. Well, I mean, I missed the car. I need to hit that red button. But I don't remember where this yellow one takes me. Well, while we wait, I'm gonna look up my Palpatoad and find out how it evolves. Just because I want to make sure I know. Uh, it's, it's just through level up. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to continue this. I'm pretty sure there's a trainer in this next car. Do I have... I don't have anything. Alright, we're... We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave the gym. Because we... We just... We can't do anything with a paralyzed Pokemon. No! Let me in! Let me in! Come back, I need to get in. Alright, let's go. Neom. Alright, now, now I need to go and hit this goddamn button again. Come back. I need to leave. need to go get healed. Heal me up, boy. Let's just bike our way there, then it'll be a couple seconds faster, right? Yes, heal me up, Nurse Joy. We did battle all the trainers in the other route, didn't we? Also, I, I, I kind of recall last episode saying I was going to note down all the places on the map where I've already encountered a Pokemon. I, I, I still haven't done that, so... But I do remember I had an encounter on this route over here because it was um, two Gothitas and I killed them both. By accident. Gotta make sure you add the by accident into there. Yeah, I can't go up the bridge yet. I want that item, though. 
So we'll, we'll go along, grab this. Hyper Potion, nice. And then we'll go back. And I'm pretty sure I battled all on you. I battled you. You two aren't trainers. I battled you, I battled you. I battled the painter who I thought was just an old man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did all the battles in that area. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss any battles that I could definitely do. Maybe through here. I know I didn't battle anyone on this route yet. I also know I haven't caught anything on this route yet because I was waiting until I could use my um, strength HM. Which I need to teach to somebody anyway. But yeah. I remember when Rock Smash was like a HM move in... What was it? Platinum and... Like... Diamond, Pearl and Platinum? Yeah. This should be an easy match. Oh my lord. Defense downs don't affect Flame Burst, right? That that just proves how naturally tanky Herdia is. Hey, crit. Nice. That's the first crit in a while. I'm glad it was me who got it and not them. A crit takedown from a Herdia can be devastating. Hello, biker. Duh, duh. Yo, those bike shorts are sexy, I don't care what anyone says. Yes, I admit it, I'm just some random, horny teenager. Uh, am I a teenager? I'm adult, I'm an adult, but I'm still in my teens. So... You decide. Nineteen, to be exact. So, only just in the teens. Oh shit, yeah, Ducklet's a water type. What am I doing? That did a lot less than I expected. And you know what? Acrobatics would do more damage if we weren't holding an item. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I was really hoping for a flinch. It's fine, we outspeed. Still, gotta be careful. A lie pod. Well, I can tell you one thing, it's probably gonna use Fake Out or it's gonna use Pursuit. One or the other, Fake Out or Pursuit. Oh, Fury Swipes, I guess I'm wrong. Damn. I would, I would say it's not often I'm wrong, but I'm wrong a lot, so... Alright then. I really expected Fake Out or Pursuit, though. And it's yet to use either of those two moves. Uh, Torment means I can't use Flame Burst. Okay, Acrobatics then because Bite isn't very effective, so Acrobatics is the better choice of move. I know what I'm doing in Pokémon sometimes. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Not a lot. But I do know what I'm doing. Can I use Strength now, or do I have to have the 4th badge to use it? I don't remember... Acrobatics is super effective on Scraggy though, right? Yes. That's good, I have a counter to my own weakness. Wait, my own weakness? But it's not super effective against me. I always think fighting types are super effective against this Pokemon. It, it would seem like they should be, you know. Da -da 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 -da. 
Yeah, we definitely ain't getting to level 34 before the gym. Alright, might as well battle all the trainers on this route while we're here. I mean, any level up is more stats before we verse the gym leader. That's the way I see it. Ooh, using Protect. Again? Yeah, you would fail. Can't wait till I do a playthrough of Pokemon Colosseum on the channel. And then we get to the second of the four, um... What were they called? Like, the... They were like the elite trainers of the evil organization. The admins. There we go. The Team Cypher admins. Can't wait till we get to the second admin who just runs a team of Protect Earthquake Pokemon. God, that's so fucking annoying. Spoilers for anybody who hasn't played through or seen Pokemon Colosseum, by the way. But I will be playing that game on this channel at some point, so if you see this and you like Pokemon Colosseum, consider subscribing and stick around for when I play through that so that you can be notified and watch it straight away. Because Pokemon Colosseum is one of my favorite childhood games. In fact, it was the first Pokemon game I ever played. Pokemon Black being my second ever Pokemon game that I played. I, I got into Pokemon really late compared to other kids. But I did buy this. I did buy Pokemon Black and White, like, within the first week after it was released, so... You know, I really wanted the game. <laughs> But yeah, I knew it was going to use Dig. This is good. I'm just going to heal up. Not that I need to, but I want to make sure. Because I feel like that's going to do a lot of damage. It sure as hell did a lot of fucking damage. Jeez. I think, yeah, I definitely had to heal or I would have died just then. In fact, a critical hit would have killed me, right? Because critical hits do 1.5 times damage. Which means it would have done 75 instead of 50. Yeah. Yeah, I am very fucking lucky I didn't get crit. A crit would have killed me. That that's a lucky moment right there. Alright, let, let's go get this gym done this episode. I'm feeling up to it and we have time for it. I mean of course we have time for it. None of these episodes ever end when my timer ends. They always go at least five minutes over it. If you, if you wasn't aware, I always set a timer for 35 minutes because that's how long I want the episodes to roughly be. Give or take, like, a couple minutes. And then my episodes always end up being closer to the 40 minute mark than the 35 minute mark, so... It doesn't work exactly, but it does remind me that I do need to wrap up my episodes. So... That's a good thing, because otherwise I'd probably just record, like an hour and a half and not realize that I did that. And then I'd have to manually split it into two episodes anyway. So yeah, let's... Let's get through the gym. I think we have one more trainer and then the gym leader herself. I should have bought some paralyzed heals. That might have been a good idea. Just in case I get paralyzed by the next trainer, because then I'll be going all the way back again. Shit. <laughs> I'm very forgetful. Oh god. 
it just burped with my mouth closed and it almost felt like I was going to throw up instead. Got worried for a moment. That's the last thing I want to do on a video is throw up. And I just saw the roller coaster go all the way back up just after we changed its path, so we gotta wait for that thing to come back down. So, how are you? Um, how about we talk about the question of the day while we're battling this trainer? The question of the day being... What is the question of the day gonna be? The question of the day is... Do you like chicken nuggets? Why? Um, because I can't think of a Pokemon related question, and because I just ate chicken nuggets before recording this. That's, that's what I had for my dinner was chicken nuggets. Also, do I say the word chicken weirdly? Because as a kid in school, I was always bullied for how I said chicken, and I never really understood why, but I got really self-conscious about saying it, so I would not, like, pe like, two girls specifically who would bully me about it would always come up to me, like, every English lesson or whatever, or just whenever they had lessons with me, and they'd be like, hey, hey, that guy, say chicken, and I'd, I'd just be so self-conscious about saying the word because I thought I was saying it wrong. So I'd refuse to say the word chicken in front of them. And to this day, I still don't know why they thought I was saying it wrong or whatever. So I was just wondering, does it sound weird when I'm saying it right now, since I am saying the word chicken a lot? Obviously, I'm not self-conscious about it anymore. I kind of, I got over that bullshit years ago. But yeah, it was definitely a weird time in my life. Anyway, let's get into this, ch um, let's get into this gym battle. There we go, that's what this is, gym battle. And let me tell you how much I like chicken nuggets. Um, I love those bitches. I can't get enough of chicken nuggets. They're so good. Also, Elisa, best gym leader. I said that in an earlier episode. I asked what everybody's favorite gym leader of this generation was. And, by far, this is my favorite gym leader. Probably because she's just really hot. You know, I'm gonna have a fun time looking for a picture for Elisa to put in the thumbnail for this video, I can already tell. But, yeah, I, I like Elisa, she's, she's pretty good. Oh yeah, these bitches have Vault Switch on them. They're so fucking annoying. It does so much damage, too! I mean, I can live two Vault Switches, but come on. Oh my, not even half? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. What we gonna do? Let's use Yawn. It vault switched. Hopefully into their ace. Hopefully they go into their ace right now, the Zeb Striker. Nope, back into a Molga. That's fine. We've got a heal here anyway. In fact, no, I this is a waste of turn, because they're just gonna vault switch again. Yeah, they're just gonna vault switch again, and then they're not gonna fall asleep. So, that that was a waste of a move. Oh wait, they quick attack. Okay, cool. I don't have to worry about them vault switching on me because they're asleep. And now we can flame burst. If you're wondering why I'm not using Bite, it's because I'm worried that they might have... Um, What's the, what's the ability called? Static, or whatever? The, the ability that um, paralyzes you on physical contact moves. Oh yeah, they have Hyper Potions. Well, at least they're using it on the Amolga and not on the Zeb Striker. Zeb Striker might genuinely be able to kill me. That is not a good time. 
Unless... I am a fucking genius. I've got this battle in the bag. There's no way I lose this battle. Absolutely no way I lose. I figured it out. I am so fucking smart. I'll admit I had to open... Um, I had to open a... Um, the Poke Info app I have downloaded on my phone. I had to open that app. But I am a fucking genius. I just needed to confirm... But, it was there in my mind. I already know what we're doing. I have it planned out. This gym leader cannot stop me. Alright, let's put that plan into action right here, right now. Palpatode, you're up. Frog, let's go. They can't fucking hit you because you're ground water type. Electric is... Oh, I'm so fucking good. Ground is immune to electric. They can't fucking hit me. Oh yes, Frog, you are MVP, my beautiful piece of aqua ring straight off. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious they have other moves to counter this, which is why I aqua ringed instantly so we can get that HP regen going. Alright, let's, let's go. Um, we're gonna uproar, I guess. Actually, that was bad. Because now I can't do anything other than uproar. Oh shit. Oh shit, no, wait. Frog, no, frog, you can't die in this battle. Frog, you can't die in this battle. Pursuit? Does it have Aerial Ace 2? Am I gonna die now? Please don't kill. I'm alive. You die. Please let the uproar end right now. Please let the uproar end here. He calmed down. Oh, you fucking beautiful bastard. I love you so much, Frog. Oh my god, Frog, I love you. I love you, Frog. Jesus, this is... This battle has my heart pumping, and I fucking love it so much. Wait, that only does 60 HP? Damn, I'll just use the Lemonade. For some reason, I thought Soda Pops did 70. Alright, Zeb Striker has Quick Attack, probably Flame Charge. Yeah, I can't... I can Super Sonic, though. That's... that's... that's a thing. With it using Quick Attack, I figure that's the best move it has. I think I think Quick Attack is the best move her Zeb Striker has to use against me. It probably has two electric type moves, Quick Attack and Flame Charge, and Flame Charge isn't going to do a lot of damage because I'm Water type. So, I mean, I have to Bubble Beam it, which isn't any better but at least I know it can't really do too much. Even though its quick attack is devastating, that does a lot of damage for a quick attack. Actually, you know what? Bubble Beam's not too bad. We've got this. I'm gonna heal, because I don't want to die. He is me who thought Frog would be useless until the 5th gym, and Frog's MVP of this gym. Finally, it hit itself in confusion. It took long enough. Damn. And it'll probably snap out of it on the next turn. <laughs> ah, well, it doesn't matter. Frog, you are the MVP of the electric gym. I don't care what anyone says. You fucking crushed it, Frog. Honestly, if I did not set up that Aqua Ring, Frog 100% would have died while using Uproar. So, Aqua Ring saved my life. And Frog gets that big juicy EXP bonus. Muddy Water? Hell yeah, let's, let's learn that shit. What does Muddy Water do exactly? It's like Surf, right? 
like Surf and lowers accuracy, and it probably has a lower accuracy itself. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of Bubble Beam, I guess. I like having Supersonic, and I like having a non-water move, and I also like having Aqua Ring. So, I think we're going to have Aqua Ring, Supersonic, a water move, and a non-water move, and that's how we're going to build this Pokemon. Alright, there we go. Electric Gym completed. Got that badge in my hand. Add that to the list. Four badges. Let's fucking go. Halfway there. In terms of collecting badges, that is not in terms of completing the game. What do I get? Vault Switch? Oh, I'm totally teaching that to my Blitzel. Unless it learns it naturally, I don't think it does. Drift Vale City next. Yep. Oh, you're gonna come help with the bridge? Brilliant. Alright, well... That, that marks the end of this episode, because we, we've gone over my timer during the battle, so... Um, we're just gonna run to the, um, Poke Center to heal up, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna do my outro while we're on the way, so... If you enjoyed this episode of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke, be sure to leave a like. You know, answer the question of the day in the comments. And subscribe to my channel for more of this content. I play games every day. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.